Hey, how's it going folks? This is Hellbent and welcome to AutoHotKey mini tutorial number 14. In this one we're going to be looking at how to use AutoHotKey to select a menu item. Uh, and so I guess let's just jump into it. Um, we're going to keep this very simple. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a hotkey and then I'm going to use that hotkey that once I press it I'm going to select one of the menus and then perhaps one of its children within sub-menus within that. So to do that, I'm just going to create a hotkey, like I said. So all I have on my script so far is just single instance force. So that way when I rerun my script after each time I reload it, it just closes the previous instance. And I have an emergency exit hotkey. So let me go ahead and create a hotkey to do what I want this script to do. And what we're going to be doing is using the win menu select item command. Because I'm using Site for Auto Hotkey and it has IntelliSense, when I add this first comma, it's going to show me the full syntax and all the parameters that I need for this or available to me. And that is Win Title, Win Text, Menu, Submenu 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Exclude Title, and Exclude Text. Now, this Win Text, uh, Win Title, Win Text, Exclude Title, and Exclude Text are very common to a lot of different commands. For the most part, I've I never have to use I've never had to use win text, exclude title and exclude text. So I can't I wouldn't be able to really tell you um, what kind of scenario when you'd want to use those. So what I'll do instead is I'll leave a link in the description to the documentation page on this. And if you find that you need to use those things, they'll be able to explain it as well as I would. Because if I was to tell you what they do or when you would need them or et cetera, et cetera, I would literally just be reading from the documentation page. And I'm sure that you're cap quite capable of doing that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this script that when I press number pad one, I'm going to get it to select one of the menu items from site for auto hotkey. And then I'm going to get it to select one of the sub items. So to do that, first thing I need is the windows title. Well, in the case of this, this one, uh, this program here, or this, uh, editor here, as I switch tabs or as the name of the window changes, or as things change about it, the title changes. So I can't just directly use the title of this window. There is a way that I can, and I'll get into that in a minute. But instead of that, what I'm going to use, I'll, instead of using its title, I'm going to use the Windows class. To get the Windows class, I'm going to use the Windows Spy tool. Now, I have Win, uh, Site for Auto Hotkey, so it's built into the ribbon or whatever you call this up here. Um, but if you don't have Site for Auto Hotkey, another place you can look for it is, um, for example... Um, if I have a script previously running, I can go to that script and right click on it and it gives me the option to run the Windows Spy or wherever I installed AutoHotKey on my computer, if I go to that folder, there's a program in it called Windows Spy or I don't know, maybe the, the title of it's slightly different, but it's basically spy something or whatever. So you can run that. So I'm going to run the Windows Spy and this will allow me to get the class of this window. So it's AHK underscore class site window. So this is what I'm going to use for my title. The next parameter was the Windows text. Like I said, I don't need to use that, so I'm just going to leave that blank by adding in a comma, leaving it empty. The next thing I want is to add the menu that I want to select. So the menu I want to select is I'll do, I'll open up to save as. So the menu I want is file and then save as. So, because I'm not sure, I would have to actually go and look at the documentation. Just in case, what might be the case here is that in, in Auto Hotkey, a lot of the, most of the time, things aren't case sensitive. But once in a blue moon, you do come across something that is case sensitive. So just in case this is one of those things that is case sensitive, I'm going to assume that it is case sensitive, and I'm going to make sure that... However it looks, however the name looks of the menu item that I'm going for, I'm going to type it out exactly like that. So if it was uppercase F, lowercase I, uppercase L, lowercase E, I'm going to type it out exactly like that. I might not need to, but with the amount of things that could possibly go wrong with your script, it's better to hedge your bet and, you know, just 
type it out with exactly as it's shown so that way you know that's not one of the things that you have to troubleshoot. So I'm going to do FILE and then the submenu that I want is save as. Okay, there we go. I have my script. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. Hit number pad one and it should open up the ability to save as. Okay, there we go. If I switch tabs because I'm using the because I'm using the uh, class, nothing has changed, so it still continues to open it up like that. Now let's go into what if I actually want to use the title rather than its class? Because sometimes class being using the class isn't always going to be the option that you need or want. So um, because of the problem of this title changing constantly, what I can do is I can see that no matter which tab I switch to, there's at least part of the title that always stays the same. And that is this word site for auto hotkey. So in this case, the chances of me having a web page open that has site for auto hotkey in its title is slim or some other program with site for auto hotkey in its title is very slim. So I can, I'm pretty confident that if I use site for auto hotkey as my title, I'm not going to have a problem. So the way I need to do this is by up at the top of my script, I need to set, I don't know, I don't know if you call it a directive or option or I just usually call it an option. I'm going to set an option to set the title match mode. And I'm going to set it to number two, which is that whatever title I use, I only need a partial match. So as long as I have some something that contains, so for example, I'm going to use site for auto hotkey. As long as site for auto hotkey is somewhere in the title of the window, it's going to, it's going to work. So I'm going to, I don't want to type it out. Like I said, I don't think, I don't think with the title, the up, the, the uppercase, lowercase, I don't, I don't think it's case sensitive, but just in case, I don't feel like typing it out like that. So I'll just use the spy tool. And I'll get that word there, site for auto hotkey. And I'll replace this with that. And because I'm using this set title match mode and the uh, this two option, I shouldn't have any problems. So now I'm using the title of the window rather than its class. If I run this, if I hit number pad one, it should open it up, no problem. If I switch to any of the other tabs, it should still work. Okay, I think that pretty much covers it. Um, if you have any questions about it, check out the documentation page first. I'll, like I said, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Uh, if, those, if that doesn't answer your questions, go ahead and leave a comment. And if I can, I'll answer it. Uh, your best bet is always to go to the forum. There's hundreds and hundreds of people there that are available to answer your questions. I'm only one person, so, you know. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Peace, I'm out.